In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the transcription in prokaryotes. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about the termination of transcription in prokaryotes. The termination of transcription in E. coli or in prokaryotes proceeds in two ways. Either it's row independent termination or it's row dependent termination. Rho here is the protein. That means in one case there is no involvement of rho protein, while as in other case there is involvement of rho protein. In rho independent termination, the physical modified structure of RNA transcript terminates the transcription. Whereas in case of rho dependent termination, the helicase protein, rho protein terminates the transcription. The second point we see here is that in rho independent termination, the hairpin loop like structure pulls off RNA transcript from the RNA polymerase complex, thereby terminating the transcription. As you can see in this diagram, the hairpin loop like structure comes into action in rho independent termination. Now looking at the rho dependent termination, the helicase protein which is the hexameric protein has structure like this. It binds to the right side on RNA transcript and gets to the polymerase enzyme where it terminates the transcription and this rho protein is ATP dependent protein. Now let's discuss the rho independent termination in detail first. In this diagram we can see we have the DNA molecule having RNA polymerase attached to it. This RNA polymerase enzyme works on the lower strand that's the template strand and we have this RNA molecule being synthesized here and here in this diagram we can see we have the termination site here having a poly AT pairs, adenine and thymine pairs. To see how hairpin loop forms we see in the next step the RNA molecule which is getting synthesized has got couple of GC regions like GC, GG, CCG. So what happens with these GC rich regions is that the GC bases pairs with each other and forms a hairpin loop like structure shown in the diagram. Actually this loop forms due to palindromic sequences on RNA transcript. Here in this diagram it is these two regions which come together and forms loop. Now this loop reduces the length of RNA DNA hybrid. So from this structure the RNA will get a physical traction. But to pull out RNA molecule from the polymerase machinery, it needs a weak link. We should break easily. And this is provided by AT rich region DNA. Where template strand having polyadenine and transcribes polyuracil in the RNA chain. So this region AU base pair is the weak point. Where from the transcription is terminated easily when the hairpin loop like structure forms. And in the end, we get RNA molecule out of the polymerase complex easily, as shown in the diagram. So this is how row independent termination works. Now let's see how row dependent termination is driven. In this diagram, we have DNA molecule having RNA polymerase attached to it, which has synthesized RNA molecule as shown in the diagram. This nascent RNA molecule has one interesting site on it, called the RUT site, row utilization site. To this rut site, the rho helicase protein binds and starts moving towards the transcription machinery RNA polymerase, as shown in the animation. And it must be noted that this helicase uses energy from the ATP hydrolysis. When this helicase reaches the end of RNA molecule, it encounters a DNA-RNA duplex. And this being the helicase enzyme unwinds the duplex easily. And finally, RNA transcript is released from the complex. This way, row dependent termination is driven in the E. coli. So this is all about termination of transcription in prokaryotes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.